So, today on uh, Crippled Adventures, you know, got that knee surgery going on. We're making brownies. Mix. Gotta find the measuring cups. That's gonna be a challenge. I'll first have to get all the ingredients, so. Vegetable oil, here we go. I'll be back. Start baking. In our bowl, our vegetable oil, our water from the sink, and our egg that I will get right now. Now that we have all our ingredients together, gotta find the measuring cups. Those are important in not messing up brownies, so we gotta find those. I found a whisk. Here's the thing. I don't know where we would keep measuring cups, you know? Like, I don't really know. Hello, we have a sister, a fan, but no measuring cups. How do I make without measuring cups? Found them. Ooh. Okay, back to baking. So. In the bowl, we'll go our wonderful brownie mix. It's like what? I'm gonna make it work. Is there a hole in it? Is that a work? Is there a hole? Can I steal the top of it? Okay. And the egg. Your first one had to crack, crack skill. Boom. Now for our vegetable oil. One third vegetable oil, but I'm using a corn oil. Because I don't have anything else. Booyah. Yeah. And the water. Turn this on nice and slow. There we go. Our water. Water in. And now we mix. So here I am mixing the mix and trying to get it all incorporated all the eggs, all the water. There's copyright music in the back because you know I was jamming out so I don't use my hair styles. So I'm just mixing it really hard trying to get it all in there and then I blow the mix back in there because some of it got out. But we're not gonna talk about that. And then I just keep mixing, keep tapping on the bowl to try to get it all out of the whisk and then clean the counter off to the prep dirty and there we go. There's the mix all mix and I'm still jamming out. I'm gonna let the brownie mix chill a little bit. 15 minutes. So, see you soon. So here I am about to start preheating the oven after I figured it out. So then I did it, lowered it through to 325, and then tried to figure out how to start it to preheat, but then I figured it out. I just had to press the start button. So here's me waving to you, and then me to the restroom because I had to go. And then now I'm just gonna chop, chop, chop some Hershey kisses. I'm gonna slice them and dice them so they get kind of small but still chunky because I like chunky brownies. The more chocolate the better and the more chewier the better which is always you know what you should aim for so just enjoy me chopping some Hershey's. And I'm gonna incorporate them into the mixture. I started whisking them rather than folding them because the whisk was right next to me and I was not gonna hop over to the other counter to get a spatula. But you know what, it's fine, it worked. So here I am, just incorporating them really good. And yeah. Pour, finally pour the brownie mix into the z I'll make it So I finally learned that I should ra rather get a spatula rather than a knife. 
so I just poured them in and started flattening them out. I got too big of a pan I should have used the smaller one, but this one worked fine. I had enough brownie mix, so I just started smoothing it into all the corners to just get it all in there. And there we go. It's all poured and ready to be put into the oven. Because I don't know how to start a timer, I th they're in the oven, I promise. They're right there. And I'm just setting the timer for 39 minutes. And hope for the best. See you then. It is currently 12.30. The brownies are finally done. Let's get these bad boys out of the oven. They look, oh, it's hot. Oh, they look good. Puppy's cool for maybe 10 minutes and then we'll dust some powdered sugar over them because we're extra like that. So it's morning now, but the brownies are done and they are covered in sugar. Look at them. All done. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go eat some breakfast now. So see you guys later.